The Spirit of Pornography While we prayed concerning deliverance from pornography in ourselves and in the church, I saw a vision of a girl in a living room watching a video which seemed to be a pornographic video. I didn't see the video, I just had an impression it was one. At first, the effect did not seem to be much, but as she kept watching, I understood that she crossed a particular limit, and in doing so, she had given access to a particular spirit. This is how it happened. The spirit came out of the television and entered into her. This spirit appeared as a black smoke that came from the TV, and it slowly entered her eyes, her mouth, her nose, and her ears. The black smoke went down, and did not just stop in her heart. It went down into her genital system. I saw that once it got to her female genital organ, specifically her uterus, it began to produce snakes within it. It produced small black-colored snakes in her uterus, her cervix, and her fallopian tubes. These snakes stayed there and just moved around. Slowly, they began to hatch eggs that would produce even more snakes depending on how much exposure to pornography the person had. The frequency of her watching pornography is what would determine the number of snakes that dwell inside of her. I saw that these snakes waited for eggs that would be stimulated by sexual contact. So, whenever this particular female engaged in sexual activity, especially when she was married, the snakes would surround her eggs. Then, the fetus was going to be surrounded by snakes as it was coming out. These snakes of lust would latch on to the child. I also saw that the snakes also affect the males that come into sexual contact with the lady. I heard, the spirit of promiscuity is driven further by females in this whole world. I saw that whenever a male comes into sexual contact with the affected female, the snake is attached to the male organ thereby increasing the level of promiscuity in that man. I was confused at first because the popular notion is that males are the ones who carry around this lust more than women. Apparently, this was not the case. It seemed like the females were the ones that spread it further, although the males acted on it more. I saw that this was how lust is usually spread in the land. From something that seemed as simple as watching a video, there was a transmission of lust and immorality, both to present partners and children yet unborn. The 3rd of March, 2024, Sister B.A. Copyright Gamwatch.